What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ghostens Games. Welcome back to another Teppin video. In today's video, we're going to discuss a topic that a lot of people have discussed before and it, it's a problem. It's a problem that needs to be addressed and I know that Gung Ho is addressing it. What are we talking about today? We are talking about how the game needs a redraw system or a mulligan system like a lot of uh, other people call it who are familiar with trading card games um, or card card games in general. So make sure you guys are hitting that like button, subscribing if you guys are new, and let's talk about all of this. So, why are we talking about this today? Well, I had a match. I'm going to go ahead and play this while we talk about this. I had a match against Nerd Gigante. And it started off just like any other match. Like I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm going to fight Nerd Gigante with Spike Launch. So my hand, I drew a pretty decent hand. I got two cards with MP boost, which was great. So I went ahead, I decided to play one right away to kind of build it up. And Nergigante responds, destroying the card. All right, kind of typical reaction from a Nergigante player. Now, here's the, here's where it becomes interesting is after he destroys my card, let me go ahead and speed this up. After he destroys my card, I'm like, okay, I'm going to let my, my MP just boost up and just, just wait. So that way I can figure out how I'm going to play against him. And I figured, you know, he's letting his MP build up as well. Well, that's not entirely what the case was. Because as soon as I hit maximum MP, I was like, okay, should I play a card? Or what is he doing? What is he waiting? And I'm like, what if he bricked? <clears throat> what if he just bricked? And pull if those of you guys who don't know what bricking is bricking is basically you're pulling a ball you your hand consists of cards that you cannot play meaning in this in the case of tepin the cards are cards that uh, they're all active cards are not units so you either need a unit to use the cards to buff them up or you need your opponent to play cards so you can destroy them or uh, do some other statuses or whatever whatever the case is so my opponent clearly bricked clearly this nerd gigante cannot play any cards so what do i do i'm like you know what i'll just i'll just sit here and wait i'm not gonna play any cards because i won um he's not gonna he's he's not going to surrender he's going to wait to see if i play anything maybe he thinks i bricked too Clearly, I did not. I have three cards that I could actively play. On top of that, you know, it's... I, on top of having the three cards I could actively play, I could throw away, I think, one of the cards. I think maybe the healing card or the shield card. I don't remember. But anyways, clearly, this Nergigante bricked. And while I despise fighting Nergigantes, while I hate the fact that Spike Launch is broken and needs to be nerfed, I kind of feel bad for this Nergigante player at the moment because I've been in this situation. I've had I, I run a Wesker deck on top of an X deck. Those are my two favorite decks to play, and I've bricked twice using my my uh, Wesker deck, and that's a deck that you really should not brick with at all, considering that I have I think eleven active cards and nineteen units in that uh, Wesker deck. I shouldn't be bricking because the whole purpose of that deck is to continuously throw out units um, from your hand or from the e, uh, the EX deck or the graveyard because Wesker's deck is uh, is built around swarming. Well, in this case, Nergigante is not usually built around swarming. Yes, you can swarm with a Nergigante deck. But it's typically there to piss off your opponents with spike launch and overwhelm them once you've destroyed all of your opponent's cards that are, you know, powerful beefed up cards. So in this case, we sat here for five minutes staring at each other, looking in each other's eyes and just imagining how we both bricked. Even though I didn't break, he, he probably thinks I, I bricked. 
Um, I like I said, I won this because he sac he destroyed my card and inflicted one damage to himself. And honestly, it, this type of stuff should not happen. It happens quite frequently, not specifically to Nur Gigante players, but just quite frequently in general, it happens. And it really, really should not be happening. I, I can't, um, I can't think for the life of me why it does happen, but it does happen. So that's why I wanted to talk about this because it, it's not something that has gone away yet. They're still working on it. And, or maybe not specifically working on it, they're trying to find out ways to do it. Now, I, my opinion, I think that if we're going to do a redraw system, then the cards that, you, that are in your hand should be reshuffled into your deck and it should cost some MP. Maybe 2 MP to redraw and you can only do it a certain amount of times. I think that would be fair, I think, because it would be available to everybody. Because um, not only do you, can you brick in the game, what if you draw a bunch of high cost cards you don't want something like that right off, right off the bat maybe you do i don't know but if you draw all six and seven cost cards well it's going to be a pain it's going to be a pain to throw them all out or not throw them all out but put them all into the field and i i think honestly that would be a good system to have an mp cost on it I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let's have that conversation. I want to know your opinions. I want to know what your ideas are for a redraw system because that's, that was rough to watch. That was really, really rough to watch uh, on that uh, Nergigante fight. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, all of that stuff. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Peace out, guys.